Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can trigger a DMS uh, task through step function. For this example, I have chosen modify application task. This task is mainly used to modify the um, uh, table mapping, um, the DMS task. So, um, at run, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the table mapping at runtime uh, by passing an input parameter from the step function. So, whatever parameter I'm going to pass in, pass in the uh, step function, that going to get updated into the uh, modify application task and do the migrations. Let's see how we can do this. Right now I'm in DMS portal. I have only one task right now here. Uh, I, I'll go into uh, step function now. So I'll click on create new state machine to identify to modify the replicate task. So I'm going to start with uh, design your workflow usually. Use standard. Click on next. I'm going to give uh, modify replicate task. Modify replicate task. So click on this one. For more information about this one, click on this thing. I will give you the uh, documentation of this one. So open a page up here. Open a page here. So this is syntax here. You can use copy this one and modify according to your needs. Go into here. Uh, here this replicant task. Yeah, I don't need these things. Type we need. I'll go to here. Migration type it is full load for me, so I'm going to give it as full load. You can specify as per your requirement, you can specify there. Copy the replicant task ARN, so we go to here, uh, DMS, copy the uh, ARN task ARN and paste it here, task ARN. And then I don't need this replicant task identifier. The task identifier all those things I don't need actually. I don't know. The only thing next I want is my uh, table mapping. So here if you see here, uh, I don't need this task mapping also. So if you see here, if you go to this uh, DMS task modify, I will go if you, at the bottom you will find the rules actually. If you go down, you will find the rules here. Uh, click on JSON format, you will find the rules. So here we need to pass this rule as a parameter uh, to that uh, um, uh, uh, here and if you want to modify the uh, modify the replication task so if you want to currently it is set to dbo so currently it's for the percentage here so if, if i want to convert this to a different one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give uh, this parameter here i'm going to give this i'm going to pass this uh, rule as a parameter to this one to modify the uh, modify the um, to, uh, modify the table mapping so here i'm going to use the parameter here so I'm going to put dot simple uh, dot uh, dollar so this is a parameter we're going to take it parameter from my input so this again i'm going to give a dollar here so what i'm passing my input i'm going to pass to here this, this particular particular one okay click on next click on next click on next on the replication task i'll give modify replication task Existing rules. I'm going to use the same existing rule previously created for um, the describe. I'm going to use the same rule here so that I don't want to create the rule again and again. So click on create state machine. Let execution. Now I'm going to pass the rule. So this is the rule I'm going to rule I'm going to pass actually. So if you see here, so the rule ID selection. Change the rule ID to two, one. Two, one. I want to change the rule again. The rule change name. I want to change it to one here. So the instead of the, I want to change it to schema test here. Star and start execution. So if you previously if you see here, my rule ID is previously it is DBO. I'm changing the rule ID to one. This is the rule name is to one. DBO I'm changing it to test now. So that's what I'm doing here now. Change to one one and the test. You start execution now. So now we start execution successfully see the output of this one it is showing us uh, step output is showing us it was modifying now we go into this one go, go to DMS it is showing us modify here so in this way you can modify the uh, uh, DMS task uh, this uh, step function shows is successful but still the modification happening at the happening background so once it is done, if you go go into that rule and check, they will find a test in that rule. Now we 
go into DMS click on modify now we will find the source name as test place it was DBO now it is change to test in this way you can modify the DMS task from using step function uh, but anyway that is that's it for this video thanks for watching